one of the most reliable airliners in history has been released for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Well, to be exact, we have the LVFR A340 already, but that does not count. Trust me. Today we are going to take a look at how to calibrate the throttles specifically if you don't have reversers on your hardware throttles because there's one catch you need to be aware of. So no more talking, let's get into that. Okay, so the first precondition that we need to have the throttles. Alright, so we need to assign this left throttle to the axis 1 and 2 and the right one to the axis 3 and 4. For that we need to go into the settings then go to the controls select your quadrant if you don't have a profile just create one for example i have the profile throttle dual for each dual engine aircraft and also a throttle quad for quad engine aircraft because we have already the 747 for example or the a380 now if i go to assigned the axis 1 and 2 should be assigned to the left throttle and 3 and 4 to the right throttle. Just do that and you are good to go for now. Okay, so let's go to the EFB. Here you have the menu throttle calibration. Just hit that. I'm gonna now reset the calibration for now. Input axis count. This is the first thing you need to select. As you might have seen, we have two axis left and right and reverser on axis in this case it is yes okay why because i can use the reversers like this now i'm gonna show you the case if you are not using the reversers but stick with me for now we're gonna start with the reversers on the axis first so the first thing you need to do is set idle position so this is the idle position in the EFP set idle position. Here you can see the I is exactly right here. You can of course input dead zones as you wish. Then we are going to do the climb, set the throttles to climb and set. Here you can see climb. Then flex, I think it's self-explanatory, right? Set flex and then set Oga like this now back to the reversers so this is idle right let's see how it is if we do reverser i'm gonna select this to max reverse and a slightly up movement to select the idle reverse position like this now let's take a look at it in the sim like this, idle, climb, flex, and toga. Now back to idle. Now let's go a little bit down to maybe idle reversers, like this maybe, and max reversers. Okay, so the next thing is if you do not have reversers on axis. For example, if you are using a Boeing throttle or if you do it like me, starting from this position without the idle reverse on the axis and the reason for me doing that is mainly because let me show you one thing if you take a look at the idle position if you have reversers on the axis or if you are using the reversers on the axis you would have only this much space between idle and climb which is not really much on the other hand, if you do it like that, if you set your idle thrust to this position, like here, you will have this much space to control the throttles. This is the main reason why I am not using reversers on the axis. Just to have much more control, specifically if you are landing without auto throttle, this is much better because you have much more control about your throttles so now to the calibration basically it is exactly the same as before only that you select no at reversers on axis of course you still have only two axis right so select no and you can also reset the calibration this right now here is now my idle position 
and this right here is the climb position that is the flex obviously and lastly this is toga of course it's pretty obvious now the question is how do you use the reversers right now right well there is catch in this and let me show you what i mean by that let me select the throttles and the throttle dual option now if i search by input hit that button on the other side like this you have the option decrease throttle which means if i fly phoenix for example if i hit that button here the red button so this one at the other side if i hit that or just hold it down the throttles will decrease which will mean that you will get reverse thrust because less than idle is of course the reversers so the problem is with the inibuilds a340 this is not possible anymore for this you would have to use this option toggle throttle reverse thrust so i have set up like i said before this specific profile or quad engines and now even more specific for the a340 so this is the quad engine option still decrease throttle and for the a340 this is toggle throttle reverse thrust so if i hit that button i really recommend you not to use the hold re throttle reverse thrust option so if i search for reverse thrust you can ignore that propeller thing there are two options hold throttle reverse thrust and toggle you will have to use toggle because if you hold yeah if you hold it like this and then hit the reversers so let's say i'm holding i'm doing now the reverse thrust if you now let go you will suddenly have climb you know you will just jump from i don't know reverse max to climb this is why i'm using the toggle reverse option so let's see how this works now as you can see this is now moving the throttles and now if i press that button that we just assigned to toggle the reversers one click you will see that the reverse thrust is now activated depending on where your throttles are actually in which position you will see this would be for example maybe thrust uh, reverse idle and this could be well reverse max you can control that with the throttles but beware of one pitfall and that is let's say you have the throttles in this position now you hit that button again look what happens the reversers will jump suddenly to the climb position or to the position where you put the throttles at this is a pitfall you have to be careful about that now if i do this the other way around now we are on climb and now i press you will see the reversers are now in that position this is a pitfall you have to watch that and be careful about that otherwise well if you are on max reversers and hit that button by a mistake well you will have suddenly toga thrust so hopefully this helped you out with the calibration if you have any questions regarding that or regarding this sim in general drop me a message on my socials hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on flight sim stuff thanks for being part of this journey have a wonderful week and happy flying